Hi guys and welcome to my channel and thanks for stopping by and watching. In this spray paint art video I'll be trying out the Montana Gold spray paint to see what it's like for spray paint art. Right, the Montana Gold is Montana's highest priced spray paint in their range. It comes in a 400ml can and has a low pressure valve system. It comes with a Montana Gold cap, the lacquer base is acrylic, it has a semi gloss finish and there are around 214 colours in the range, including transparent and fluorescent paint. The price per can may vary depending on what country you live in. In the UK it's around £4.85 a can. And the colours I'll be using are Cherry Blossom, Aqua, Shock Black and Shock White Pure. Right, before I go any further, I'd just like to say these are my own thoughts and findings about how well the Montana Gold spray paint works for making spray paint art. So the first thing I'm going to do is a cap test to see how the cap sprays. So I'll be using the stock cap that comes with the cans in this video, which is a Montana Gold cap. And I'll be doing the cap test on a 4 inch wide piece of glossy card. Right then, before you use the cans, make sure you give them a good shake for at least 2 minutes each. And when you get them, there'll be a plastic ring, like a donut, underneath the cap, like this. This is only there to stop the cap from pressing down, so it doesn't spray everywhere while in transit. So I'll be using the black spray paint to do the cap test. So when you get the cans, they'll come like this. So all you have to do is pull the cap off, and then turn it upside down, and then the plastic cap ring donut will fall out. So I'll put that to one side. So if you've watched some of my previous videos on my channel, you'd have seen that I use a Montana Gold spray paint quite often. But I don't use the stock cap that comes with them, the Montana Gold cap. I'll explain why during the video and at the end of the video. So like I said, I'll be doing the cap test with a black spray paint. And I'll be doing it on this piece of glossy card here, which is four inches wide. So I'll just bring some black paint through the cap and do the cap test on here. So the cap produced a nice thin line and didn't let too much paint out which is good. But the cap did spit a bit as you can see here. I'll give you a closer look at how much it sprayed and the line it produced and the spit in. So I'm not sure whether you can see it. So I'll put that back there. Now the cap test is out of the way, I'm going to see what it's like to paint with. So for this space painting I'll be using glossy card which is A2 in size. And the materials I'll be using are some lid stencils. These are just round lids off food tubs, the lids. Different size ones. I'll be using a pallet knife, this is to sign a painting with at the end. I'll be using a metal paint scraper, you can get these in different sizes. I'll be using another food tub which is a cone shaped food tub, which will put a hole in the bottom. And I'll be using some plastic sheets. These are from a bag that I've cut up so it's easier to use. These will be used to make a texture on the planet and some texture in the painting. So I'll just move this can out of the way. Right, the first thing we'll do is get the lid stencils and place them on the sheet where you want your planet. I'm going to have a big one there I think. I'll have a smaller planet there. I'll have one up here. One there. And one here, I think. Something like that. So I'll get a cherry blossom. Spray some paint through. And all I'm going to do is spray around the lid stencils to give you an outline of where your planets are going.
Well, there you have lines done on your planet, so I'm just going to see what the cap sprays like. So you press the cap real lightly, it doesn't let too much paint out, which is good. It doesn't make a big spot. Just press the cap all the way down, see what that's like. Still doesn't let too much paint out. There's not much overspray. I like the valve system on these, nice and easy to press and control the flow of the paint. So you press it real light and it comes out real light, hard. It comes out a bit harder but not too much. So this is why I use these cans the most because I like the valve system on them, real nice. So now we've got the outlines around the lid stencils, so take these back off for now. Same to one side. Now all we'll do is fill the outlines in with some colours. So we'll go to the aqua first, just pull some paint through. I'll start with a big planet here. See, I was pressing the cap all the way down there and it still doesn't let much paint out, which is good when you're doing spray paint art, especially on small areas like this. Got a bit more aqua over it. Bit of pink there. Now we'll go to a black and put some black here, yeah. And as you can see, a bit of spitting from the black. Now we'll get a white, pull some paint through the cap, and we'll spray it on the other half of the planet. Now we'll get the material that we're using to make the texture on the planet. So like I said, I'll be using the plastic bag that I've cut up so it's easier to use. And all we'll do is just crunch it off. So we get some lines, crinkles, texture in the sheet. So then we'll place it on the planet and give it a light rub. And then peel it back off. So I'll leave a texture on that, so I'm going to leave that, like that. And now I'm going to add some highlights and shadows on it. So I'll add the highlights first, which is going to be here. And all we'll be doing is pressing the cap down lightly to get like a mist effect. So you can still see the colours underneath. So press the cap lightly. And just move across the painting. So you get a bit of white there for your highlights. And now we'll go to a black, spray some this side for the shadowed area. So that's the highlights and shadows done on that planet. Now I'm gonna move on to this one, so with a bit of aqua. A bit of a cherry blossom. Some black. And some white. Get another piece of sheet. Other material you're using. What I'm going to do is fold it in half this time. And half again. So it's like that. I'm just going to place it over wet paint and give it a turn. Do it again. So I quite like the texture on that. So I'm going to leave that. Now we'll go to the highlights and shadows. So the highlight first. Just press the cap lightly. Now we'll do the shadows. On the other side of the planet. So 
So that's the highlights and shadows done on that planet. Now we'll move to these. So I'll do this big one first. And a bit of cherry blossoms first. Bit of aqua. Black. And the white. As you can see, there's a bit of spitting from these caps, the gold cap, the white spitting a bit. I'll get another piece of plastic sheet. And for this one, I'm going to fold the plastic in a different way. So I'm just going to pull it like this, rub my hand over it, to give you some different pattern, different lines on it. And I'm just going to place it over the wet paint and give it a light rub. I'll pull it back off. So I'm liking that texture. So we'll go back and do the art lights and shadows to it now. Like I said, press the cap light for the art lights. And now the shadow area of the planet. See the black spitting a bit, spitting a bit of black here on top of the planet. This is what I found with these gold caps, so they do spit a lot. Even when you wipe them clean, they still carry on spitting. That's the reason why I changed the caps on these and not use the stock cap, the gold caps on them, because of a spitting issue. But if the caps didn't spit, these are these are good caps. I quite like the caps. The only issue I find then with them is a spitting issue. So now we'll move on to this one down here. Bit of cherry blossom, then aqua. Bit of black. And a bit of white. You might be able to see here on the black. The spots here. The spitting from the caps. So I get another piece of the plastic sheet, crunch it up, get some lines in it. Sorry about that, my camera decided to turn itself off when I was just about to do the texture on this one. It's been a bit temperamental at the moment. So what I did to make the texture was you saw me screw the piece of sheet up, the plastic sheet, and then all I did was place it over the top and give it a light rub and then pull it back off to produce a texture. The same way as I did the big one over here. So now we'll move on and do the highlights and shadows on it. So we'll get the white and do the highlights this side. Just press the cap lightly. Now we'll do a shadowed area here with the black. Now we'll do this last one here, the last planet, this small one. So I'll get a bit of cherry blossom first. Bit of aqua. Bit of black. And a bit of white. And I'll get a bit of a plastic sheet. And this one I'm going to fold in half and half again. I'm just going to turn this one as well. So I'll just turn it on the sheet to make like a swirly pattern. So I quite like the texture on that one. So I'll leave it like that. Now I'll get the white for the highlights. Now a bit of black on the shadowed area on the back. Now we've added all the highlights and shadows to the planet, it's time to put the lid stencils back on. But ideally you want the paint to be dry before placing the lid stencils on. That way the lids won't stick to the wet paint and leave rings on your planet when you lift them off later on. But for the purpose of this video I'm just going to go ahead and place the lid stencils on while the paint is still wet. So I'll get a big lid stencil first, place it on there. I think we're going to have that one there. 
And then this one up here. I think I'll have that there. This one I'll have there. I'll have that one there. And then this small one. I think there. Now we have all the lid stencils on, it's time to move on to the background. So the first thing I'm going to do in the background is add some colours. So I'm going to have a cherry blossom first. I'm going to put a bit here. As you can see there, can you see the cap spraying quite a bit? It's there spitting out a bit. This is one of the, this is the main reason why I don't use the caps, the stock um, caps on the gold cans, the Mo Montana gold cap, is because of a spitting issue. So put a bit more there. When you're doing close to your lid stencils, just make sure you spray it a bit lighter around them so you don't get no overspray underneath your lid stencils. And then the colours going onto your planet. So now we've added a bit of colour there. I'm going to go and get the black and spray over it. So as you can see there, as I'm spraying the black, it's spitting a bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna clean this cap off. So you get rid of the paint around the nozzle. And I'll spray again. And as you can see, it's still spitting a bit. That is the only reason why I don't use these caps. So now we've covered the colours up, we're going to get some of the plastic sheet. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to crunch it up like this. And I'm just going to press it onto the sheet where the colour was. Just be careful when you get next to your lid stencils that you don't knock them or lift them up because they're quite hard to put back in the same place if they move. So I'll just get another clean piece and just go over again because you can get a build up of like the black paint on here so when you're pressing it you'll just be spreading the black paint around on the painting and not lifting any of the colours underneath you'll be covering it up when you're pressing it make your texture so you can see there's quite a bit of black there so if we get a clean sheet clean piece of a plastic brings the color through so I think that'll do for that side now I'm going to get some aqua and do a bit of this side Like I said, just be careful when you're next to your lid stencils. Spray a bit lighter. See, this cap isn't spitting. It's... When I did first start using the Montana Gold, I did use the gold caps. And the majority of the caps did spit all the time. Like you saw over here with the black spit in. So that's enough aqua. So now I'm going to get the black and cover the aqua up. So as you can see the black still spitting quite a lot. So I'm going to clean it off again. But it doesn't seem to really matter whether you've got paint on the nozzle or not. 
it still spits. So just fill the rest of the sheet in while I'm here. While I'm covering this aqua colour. So I'm going to do the same with this. I'm going to get a bit of a plastic sheet and just dab it on where the colours were. Like I said, just be careful when you buy your lid stencils. Just get a clean piece, pull some more paint off. Another piece of plastic, quite a lot of black on that one. And as you can see there, I've moved the lid off that planet. So I'm going to have to try and put that back on now. Can be a bit tricky and hard. So I think that's back over in all right. So I'm just gonna hold that while I do a bit of texture here on the bottom. So I'll have a texture there on the cherry blossom and the aqua there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a cherry blossom first. I'm just going to mist a bit of colour back over here. So it's the same as doing the highlights on your planets. Just press the cap down lightly. Gives a real nice mist effect, these caps. But like I said, the issue is it's spitting on them. If the caps are never spitted, I'd use these gold caps all the time. Now I'm gonna to go to the aqua and do the same on this side. So I'll press the cap lightly. I might just um, put a bit of aqua over this side as well, not much. Just in places. I think I'll do the same with a cherry blossom on this side, the aqua side. Quite like that. So now we've got some colours in the background. I'm just going to go with the black and try and blend them back in. The blacks and the colours. So I'm just going to be pressing this light. Just between the textures I'm doing. I'm 
to a bit of plaque here in the middle. And I think I'm just gonna just do a quick coat of mist of colour. Not much. Press cap real light. I might put a bit here. I think I might go with the aqua and go just a bit over this black mist there. I think over on there, yeah? I'm going to do the same with a pink here, I think. Right, so I quite like that. While I've got a pink, I'm just going to do a bit of colour around this big one, I think. So all I'm doing is spraying towards the lid stencil, and then the overspray will make the colour around the planet. So I quite like that one. I think I might put a bit of blue around this one here. So same, just spray towards the lid. So you get a bit of colour. And I think I'll just have some behind. Behind this one here. I think that'll do. Same as the pink up here, the cherry blossom. Might have a bit of aqua to that one as well. Why not a bit of white, I think. A bit too much white there, so I'm just going to spray a bit of the aqua back on it. So I quite like that up there, so I'm going to leave that. So I'm just going to go back to the black again. Like I said, when you're doing these, just take your time and enjoy while you're painting. It's up to you while you're doing the background. It's a bit more black thing just on the edges. So I'm liking how the background's looking so far, so I'm going to leave that like that, the textured areas. I'm just going to put a bit of colour in the middle here. So I think first of all I'll go with the aqua. Now I'm going with a cherry blossom. Just spray a bit over it. Now I'm going to get a white. I'm just going to spray a bit in the middle of this cherry blossom. I think I'll just spray a bit more cherry blossom around it. So I like the way that's looking. I'm going to be adding a star to this later on in the painting. But I've added some of the background colours first before I add the star over the top. Now we've added all the colours and that to the background, we'll move on to making some stars. So what we'll do is get the white spray paint and we're going to spray some on our fingers here. So you end up with something like that. Right, so what you want to do is, when you spray some on your fingers, you want to flick it away from a sheet a couple of times to get some of the paint off your fingers. This way, when you flick the paint on to make your stars, you won't get big white blobs on your painting that don't look like stars. So we'll spray some on the fingers, and then we'll flick it away a few times, and then with the rest of the paint on your fingers, 
flick it on the sheet to make your stars. You can add as many or as little stars as you want to your painting. top couple there so I'll do for the small stars so I'll just wipe this white paint off my fingers now we've added the small stars to the painting we're going to move on and add a big star here where I've added the colours so for this I'm going to be using a metal paint scraper, I'm going to be using a bigger one for this video. Like I showed you at the beginning, you can get different size metal paint scrapers. This is better for making smaller stars, the smaller lines on your stars. And then this one will produce bigger lines. So like I said I'm going to be using this one for this star here. So I'll get the white spray paint. And what you want to do is spray the white somewhere here in the middle of a paint scraper because the overspray will be making the lines. So we'll put it on the sheet where you want your lines or your star. So we're going to hold it there. Ideally you want the painting to be dry so then you can place the scraper as close as you can to the painting. This way you get nice and nice crisp clean lines. But because the paint's still wet here, I'm going to have to hold it above it just slightly. So I'm going to have one line here. So spray into the middle and the overspray will make your line. Just make sure you keep an eye on the build up of paint on your scraper because if there's too much on there it can run off and leave big white dots on your painting. So if there is too much on your paint scraper just wipe it on a piece of cloth or something. That way you won't have any paint dripping off it and landing on your painting. So I'll go back to a line so spray in the middle. going to do this one again a bit bigger now we have the lines done for the big star we're going to add some white into the middle by spraying the paint straight out of the cap into the middle of the lines where we all cross over but before I do that I'm just going to give it a bit of a test on this piece of card here so so press the cap lightly and as you can see it doesn't produce a big white dot but as you can see there is some spitting from the cap so they're nice small dots there so I'm going to move on and put a dot in the middle of this white star So I quite like the way that star's turned out. I like how the lines have turned out and the dot isn't too big on the star. So we'll move on to adding some more stars to the painting. For these stars I'm going to be using the cone shaped food tub but I've put an hole in the bottom. And what I'll be doing is just spraying the paint in the top of the cone so it comes out of the bottom of the hole to make some stars which are a bit bigger than the ones we flicked with our fingers but smaller than this big star so I'm going to do some colour stars first 
So I'm going to get a cherry blossom. So I'm going to hold it about an inch above the painting. And I'm going to just spray it through. So you get something like that. I'm going to put one here. And I have some aqua coloured ones. So I'll have one here, I think. And one there. You could also add some colour, another colour over top, just lightly as well. And I'm going to get the white. I'm just going to go and spray lightly over these colours to give you a bit of white in the middle of them. So I'm going to get a bit closer for this and just spray it lightly. So then they give you some glowing stars, like some colour behind the white. So I'm going to go back to the white. I'm just going to put a few white ones in here and there. So there's one there. And I'll have one down here. One up here. For a couple of these, especially this one here, it's a bit too white. You could get a colour and you could just do the same spray lightly over it. Bring a bit of colour to it. And then with the white again, just press it lightly. And that gives another glowing star. So you could always put the white first and then add the colour over it. And put a small white dot in the middle. I might just add one more white one here. Right then, that's all the stars added to the background. And I quite like the way they've all turned out. So the next thing we're going to do is lift the lid stencils back off. To reveal your planets for the first time. So like I said earlier on in the video. But I placed the lid stencils on while the paint was still wet. So these lids might be a bit stuck to the paint. But we'll find out now. So I'll lift this big one off first. So that one wasn't stuck. It was just stuck slightly. But not too much. And I'll move on to this one. That's slightly stuck but not too much. Now we're going to this big one. I was just slightly stuck here at the back. Now this one. This one's a bit more stuck. Because the paint had less time to dry. Because when you're going around the planet, so like I did that one first, I've had have the longest to dry. And then that one, then that one, then this one, and then that one. So this was the wettest planet that I put the lid on. So this one should be the most stuck. And as you can see, it's pretty stuck there. Because the paint was pretty wet when I placed the lid stencil on. So we'll just pull it off. That's come out alright. Right then, that's all the lid stencils off the planet. And I'm really happy with the way they've turned out. I like the colours on them, and I like the texture on each of the planets, each one slightly different from the other. And as you saw when I was lifting the lid stencils off, they did get stuck a bit, especially these two smaller ones here. The only reason why that is, that the lids got stuck to the painting, is because I placed them on while the paint was still wet. If I had let the paint dry, and then placed the lid stencils on, then they wouldn't stick. And then you wouldn't end up with rings on your planet. Like this one here. I'm not sure whether you can see it. 
there's a bit of a ring there where when you've lifted the lid off it's pulled some of the paint off so it produces a ring on your planet and this one here the one I slightly knocked earlier on in the video I didn't quite place it back on right so I've got a bit of a black ring here on this side Right then, there's one last thing to do before the painting is finished, and that is to sign it. So like I said at the beginning of the video, I'd be using a pally knife to sign a painting with, but I'm going to sign a painting over here, and the paint is dry. So the pally knife won't work, because it won't dig into the paint. So what I'm going to be using is a paint pen, a white paint pen, a marker pen, or anything like that. So if the paint is too dry, you can always use this to sign it. So I'll just sign it here. So I think the Montana Gold works well for spray paint art. The Montana Gold cap that came with the cans works well and didn't let too much paint out. The only downside to the cap is a spitting issue, which might only be happening because the cans are being held horizontal rather than vertical. I will have to give it a try in a future video to see if the caps still spit when the cans are held vertical. If I was going to use a Montana Gold for spray paint art, then I would use a different cap on the cans like a skinny cap. The only reason for that is because the caps spit in. If you have watched some of my previous videos on my channel, you will see that I use a Montana Gold in a lot of my paintings. The reason for that is because I like using it. And then I change the caps on them to a skinny cap, as I find that with a different cap on the spitting issue stops. The paint also dries fast, which can be a good thing. The low pressure valve system gave a good control over how much paint came out when pressing the cap down with different pressures. It may just take a bit of practice getting used to the pressure and how far to press the cap down when doing different things. But overall I enjoy and like painting with the Montana Gold spray paint. I liked how the painting has turned out. I find it nice to use and the colours I chose were nice and bright. And also, just remember to take your time, enjoy while you're painting, and let each layer stage dry before moving on to the next. So I'll give you a closer look of a painting. So I hope you found the information in this video helpful and enjoyed watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for stopping by and watching. I hope to see you all in the next spray paint art video. Have a great day, take care and bye for now.